Hello and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. And we're right in the thick of it, working away on the save. Now, normally, I like to start things off gazing into a nice sunrise, being like, man, what are we going to do today? I don't know. Let's go and have an ex like adventure. But today, I've got a plan. And we are going to use up some of this beautiful magnesium that I've been mining. And I've been mining hard all, all many hours. As I need to be able to shoot things. And as such, I need to process magnesium as much as possible. But as we come back up here towards the temporary base, you may notice... We've expanded the wind tower a little bit, as it was not contributing enough power. But now we have enough. We are recharging at a decent rate. And so, when we are ready to leave this planet, the dropship will be nicely, freshly topped up. And uh, ready to power up all of our other goodies that we've left in orbit. Because I believe the Fregna has another day or so of battery before we have to get back to it. Come on, line up. There you go. Park. All right. Yeah, we expanded the wind tower a little bit. As well as I replaced and uh, upgraded the drill head on the front of the Spectre here. Which is awesome. But today, I want to go into combat, as it is time to use some of this magnesium for Daka. So, I believe that there is more to explore on this planet, as if I grab my spectator camera, bring it over to myself, we came down and landed near this island and then we headed over to this island and thankfully we found iron we found magnesium this is really good we did some resourcing and now i just need to leave this little boat here my my drop ship to process for the next while i was trying to jump over nicely but it didn't work because Look at all that iron. We got like a hundred thousand magnesium to process, three hundred thousand iron to process. It's just going like crazy. So we're gonna let the base work its way through stuff. The batteries are recharging. Ooh, that feels so good. And we are gonna go on an adventure. Because there's just these couple of islands here. Now we can go further, what direction is that? South, if we want to. And it's sort of like the equator biome, like it would be on Earth-like, but it's just the islands of it. So it's like deserty islands. We can check out some of these, but I was really, really intrigued. I was looking around at this place in orbit and over here on the other side of the planet, uh, where is it? There was a big archipelago, and it looked really tasty. Oh, like this place here. Look at that big pile of land right there. Big islands. So there's some big islands over here, and I think I want to go check them out. And so... We are going to go uh, do west or due east. doesn't really matter because we're just going to go around the planet today. We're just going to essentially go like due west and just keep going due west until we come back to here. That's basically going to be it. Because <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion. If you remember back on Endor, there was that gold mining facility that we found. And that is where we salvaged these laser weaponry from the light laser turret and the anti-fighter laser turret and as such 
there might be other places out here that we need to go and salvage from. If I remember correctly, they had like a, an antenna range of like 50-ish kilometers. So if we do a lap around the planet, I think if there are any out there, we should be able to see them. So as such, I think what we do is... I'm not... Okay, I gotta think about this. There's, there's pros and cons of taking the various different ships. Pros of taking the Spectre? It's the Spectre. It's awesome. It's uh, got lots of power. It's got a respawn. It's got lots of storage. I can do a little mining and bring back some like really rare resources if I find any. That's great. Downsides of the Spectre? I don't really have the materials to replace it right now. <laughs> I mean, I could, but I don't really want to because it's my nice ship. I want to keep it in one piece. Uh, I could go get the cursor, which is up there at Fregna, but then the cursor doesn't have a respawn, and so if I die with that, I just die completely. I can't respawn at it. <sighs> I think we'll take the, the Spectre. I, I think we'll try to be safe and uh, not, not blow up the world. <laughs> As such, uh, we have the two Gatling guns on the sides. We should be able to take a little bit of extra ammo, as well as I do have some weaponry and some more ammo for that right there for my handheld. I think I'm going to make myself like a, a handful of spare guns and put them into the storage. In that case, if I die, I've got like kits so I can respawn at the Spectre and go back in again. Turn that sorter off so it's not pulling stuff out of my my ship. And put this all in the cockpit. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just keep 10 on me. Put the uh I'll keep this all on me. I want to keep that missile launcher on me. We're gonna see if we can shoot out anything from long range. And then a little bit of extra guns. And also a little bit of extra. Gatling ammo. There we go. And we'll be cooking. That's for sure. What more could I want for kits there? I wouldn't need oxygen and I probably wouldn't need hydrogen bottles because uh, I mean, I could take some bottles. But I don't have any spare hydrogen bottles. Equipment. Make me a stack of those, please. Yes. Very good. Fill them all up. And then I can take those with me. And that way if I die and I come back, all I need to do is just grab a hydrogen bottle, grab a gun, grab 10 magazines of ammunition, and I can head back into battle. So, I think we're good. Uh, this ship is at 87%. Give it a little bit of extra charge here. And then we'll, in a minute, take off and uh, go circle the planet. And I think we're going to go this direction because if I'm not mistaking the sun is setting and if I go fast enough I can outrun the sun auto unlock power away and we got our reverse thrusters off so we can do a nice coast and get up to speed going directly west and as we go here we can check islands one by one. Oh, there are some thrusters still going backwards. Not all the thrusters are in that group. No! There we go. Do a little scan here. Ah, there is some ores around here. Again, the question is whether or not any of these ores are on the surface or on under the water. We'll check out this one ore. What is this? Bada boom. It is some silver. All right. Let's go see where this silver is land located. Oh, uh, looks like it's under the water. 
these underwater ores might be deep ores. Like, they may not be within 50 meters of the surface, which would be unfortunate. And they'd be kind of hard to, uh, to get to. Oh, yeah. This is under the water. Yeah, I'm right on top of it. It's under the water. I'm not even going to bother with it. I wonder if I even bother with any ore searching f in this planet. Because, like, if I have to be under the water and drill down, like, a bunch of meters in order to get to these ores, I wonder if it's even worthwhile for me to do it. I mean, if you're stuck on this planet, sure, but I got silver I can get to. I just go back to Endor. I got a big silver mine there. But for now, uh, we're just <laughs> going out into the empty ocean here. God damn, there's no islands. Something way off to our left here, but uh, it's not on our route. I could definitely see this map being amazing in a multiplayer server focusing on water mod like if you had each of these islands somebody could just like set up a base on the island and you're island hopping and taking over the different seas that'd be awesome <laughs> makes me kind of want to do something like that mm, coming up on another big island uh, this is similar to the one that I'm currently on. So, I... I have a sneaking suspicion there should be some on-land ore patches here. Go! Seismic Surveyor! Give me some results. Okay. There's some stuff to my right, some stuff directly behind me, some stuff to my left at, like, 45 degrees to my left. The left one might be on land there's the one that directly behind me maybe and there's the one that is to my um direct right that could be on land too let's check out a couple of these i'm practically on top of the ore patch yeah we got an on land silver patch now, the question is, is, where is it? I don't know. But at least I know it's somewhere near here. And it's on land. Uh, ore detector is maxed out. Ah! Oh, wait! Silver? It said there was silver. It has the two bars on the left and then the one bar on the right. That's silver. But I saw gold there for a half second. There's silver. Silver and gold are both here. Oh, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take that up for sure. Hell yes. All right. So this is Camino. That's what I'm calling it. I mean, Camino in... It's not supposed to have any landforms, is it? But it's the only Star Wars water planet that I remember. Gold and silver. Hells to the yes. We got all the fancy ores right here. This is awesome. Okay. So, that means what we can do is check out the other one. Something to my back left is... Magnesium. So it is straight forward from here. Yep. All right. That should be on land as well. Oh, that's really good. Might have to come back to this uh, island in the future. This is a really tasty island. And it should be right around here. Yep, we're on top of it. 
now just to rub myself down this cliff face. Seeing if we can spot it. I don't want to do this too long because I'm uh, concerned about power usage. I do need to be able to get back to the dropship before I run out of power. But I'm not seeing it around here. But we can always just put down a question mark. GPS, uh, bu 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 bu, magnesium, and we can just do from current position, just magnesium? I don't know. Could be magnesium there. Need to search out for further. And then we got the one that is straight ahead of us right now. And that is, and it says this last one is another patch of magnesium. Uh, again, I'm not gonna spend too long looking for this. I'm just going to mark it as a magnesium question mark because I know it's around here somewhere. I just need to find it later, but we are running out of power. I mean, I'm still at 79%. I've only used a fifth of my power, but I've only gone a fifth of the planet maybe or less. So I kind of need to keep moving so that I can actually get around the planet before I run out of power. <laughs> because that would not be a good thing to uh, have my Spectre drop out of the sky while I'm heading back to uh, the dropship. Alright. I'll probably skip all these uh, islands and we're just looking for enemy signals. Just a giant expanse of nothingness. That island is receding away. Oh my god, it's just, it's just ocean. All I can do is keep moving forward. Oh, this is like Point Nemo, but in on this for this planet at least. I mean, I just I'm just heading west. <laughs> Are there any other islands over here? I thought I saw some and then I took a look at it from orbit, but <laughs> never know where they are <gasps> oh my god okay my intuition was correct SLP unknown signal 47 kilometers away there's some enemies on this planet oh boy we get to fight some people today oh this is gonna be fun but we got some uh, we gotta get over there uh, yeah, it's gonna take a minute. Oh, we finally crossed the giant expanse of ocean. There's islands again. There's a little island chain over here. There's a solitary island over on our left. And this unknown signal is rapidly approaching. 20, 26 more kilometers. And by the time we get there, considering the fact that we're uh, making really good time, we're actually racing the sun quite well and uh, potentially <laughs> it'll be nice and uh, beautiful morning when we arrive so we'll have the entire day to fight whoever's there in some nice daylight instead of having to uh, duke it out in the dark which one would suck and two wouldn't make for very good uh, video content but 18 more kilometers to go. We're coasting fast. All right. Six kilometers to go. Let's slam on the brakes and veer off course here a little bit. I want to find a spot where I can see this enemy position from up high. Either be one of these mountaintops or maybe that, oh, maybe that mountaintop in the distance. Maybe we can circle around to that. That might be good. Oh wow, this is like a whole archipelago. Bunch of islands, bunch of mountaintops. This is awesome. Yeah, let's go see how close we get sitting on this mountaintop here. 
as I don't want to get too close to it too quickly. I don't want to like spawn any fighters or anything that we can come fight the specter. I'd like to observe it at first as we are currently three-ish kilometers out. Where do I want to sit? Let's go sit on this mountaintop right over here and let's go take a peek at it from a distance. And then try to sneak up on it because it looks like we should be able to get pretty close to it if we use some of the terrain to our advantage as coming from the right side here I'll, I'll get out show it I've got my my gun to use as a, a, a pointer so I can let you guys know what I'm talking about but let's land up here all right landed eight days of power excellent turret uh, control Ah, good I got it on the right side It'll be a little twisted here, but uh, we can see what we're doing. Okay, so it's another one of those uh, mining bases. The ones that I found on the forest planet. It's got the radar dish. It's got the mining facility. Looks like it's got the miner in the back there. Doesn't look. It does not look to be active because I can't see it moving up and down. So maybe the base hasn't activated yet. Maybe I haven't gotten close enough yet. Which is good. I don't want this thing to wake up just yet. But what I'm thinking here is that base is up there. But whatever weaponry is on that base, it obviously can't shoot through the ground. So what I could do is I could go up and down down deep into this lagoon here and I could just skim the surface of the water of this lagoon then come up this mountainside and land in cover on this mountainside and then I can go on foot up and over and maybe tunnel a little bit of ways I could use the specter to tunnel because it's got the drills on the front so I could tunnel through this and park myself quite close to the base and have the specter there just as like a re respawn point, nice and close, and in good cover because it would be underground. So yeah, I think that I think that's the plan. I think we need to go sneak up on this thing because I do see more weaponry on the roof. Looks like it's another set of the laser weaponry, which I, if that's the case. I know what this laser weaponry can do. I think it's two kilometer range on the main laser turret, and it's 1,200 on the anti-fighters. So I cannot get within two kilometers of this base with a line of sight, or I will lose my specter because the laser turret will start taking it out. So it's not really something that I want to move up and say start trading shots. I want to be able to go in and take this out manually. Whether that be rockets, which I don't really want to do because I'll lose the turrets. And I kind of really want to salvage those turrets. Or I just shoot it out from a distance with my, my person. So staying more than two kilometers away, we're going to dive down into this lagoon here. We're going to get some terrain in between us. And then we're going to sneak up on their left flank here. There we go. Within two kilometers. We got to slow down. Because we got to stop before we hit this mountain. And we can't really just rise up to defend ourselves. Something shot. The Gat shot for like one bullet. But that was it. We got to be very careful here. I think we can get within 500 meters. But I am unsure. Can I sneak in here? I do not want to poke myself over this ridge. So I'm thinking... I just tuck myself right here. 
landed. And we're a good spawn, easy walk up on the base. I got a sneaky shot here. Okay, let's see if I can get to the next piece of cover. Without get taken out. God, too bad you can't go prone in this game. Turret? Are the turrets active? I don't even know if they're tracking me right now. The large laser turret certainly isn't. So, I'm not sure if they even know I'm here. Let's give them a bit more of a wake-up call. Hello? I'm here! Wow! <laughs> okay! <laughs> now they know I'm here. <laughs> I guess the base is active now. Jesus Christ. Alrighty then. Grab all my stuff. Oh, oh geez. I can't even hop. Those anti-fighter turrets, man. They take you out instantaneously. But, oh, jeez, <laughs> they're good. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, whoa, jeez. <laughs> it wants to my cookies. Okay. I think we need to uh, do our old techniques of sapping our way to there. Let's pull away from the edge here. And we're going to sap. <laughs> we're going to get ourselves closer this way. All right, we broke through the surface. Land up again. And now I can uh, maybe... Get out without dying? Hey, I can get out without dying. Okay. Body location. Get all my weaponry back. All right. We shall continue moving forward. Excellent. All right. So that's one bit of tunneling done. And, uh... Why am I drifting sideways? Yes, yeah, seriously, why am I drifting to the right? This is so weird. Okay. I'm just gonna cope. Oh, there's like some wind out. Is that it? Am I getting blown around? Oh my god. That's no good. Okay. Uh, where is my next piece of cover? I need to go deep here, actually. If I dig through this piece of cover, I need to go actually fairly deep in order to not get hit by this fighter turret. That, or I need to actually go out and back around the far side of this. That would probably be better cover. I could get up closer. Ow! <laughs> Bonking my head on the ceiling in here. Alright. We're out. Let's flank this. That is just the antenna that I can see. That's safe. I can expose to that. It's the bunker beside it that's the issue. But I can crawl my way up this uh, embankment here. And I can get within a few hundred meters of the base. Because it is to the left. 
Oh, I got the uh, laser turret smoking at the top. Yes! Okay, that's really good. It's to the left here. I... Okay, I can go up and over this ridge right here. Just keep it tight, keep it low. I can land right here. This is as close as I can physically get without being exposed. Okay. Okay, this is going to be our respawn spot. Hey! Oh, it's silver! Oh, nice! Reload our rockets. Now, the thing is, is I... I could throw a rocket at this thing. And it probably will damage it a lot. I don't know if it'll break it. I do not want to break it. I want to keep it. There's the light turret. That's on the top. There should be... There, right there. I just saw it rotating. That's the fighter turret. That thing is so fast and deadly. Ah, at least my body's sliding into a uh, area where I can recover it. Okay. I think we have to do it again. We have to to sap our way in. Um, but this is a fairly easy sap. This is just down a little bit underneath, and then I can pop right back up in the center of it, take it out. Let's do it. Now, I do need to dig down for a bit here. I'm not 100% sure how much. As the terrain on the other side here, if I bring my spectator camera, I need to make sure I'm underneath this terrain. Because if I pop out, like, right there, that fighter turret's going to just destroy me. So I still need to go further down. Okay. I basically need to dig myself down to the ore patch. So this is one of the benefits, I thought, of uh, bringing the specter instead of the uh, cursor to into a fight. Is that specter could do all this sapping stuff quite easily. Where I would have to just go into combat with the 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 cursor. There be some silver around here. Hopefully I'm not destroying too much of it. Oh, there's some silver. And yeah, there's a deposit of silver. So I can do a little bit left and I can start coming up. Start pushing left. Get past the silver patch. And it looks like I might have to drill through just some of it here, which is unfortunate, but such is life. I can come up right underneath them here soon. Yes. We can start turning upwards through the silver patch. Oh, there's uh, grass. Where am I popping out? Uh, okay, I'm good, actually, to keep digging. Again, a little bit more to the right. Keep removing. There is base. Okay, land up. And we can go through the base here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Gunshots? What's shooting? There is the turret. I am right beside the base. Okay. I don't know what's shooting at what! Maybe when we get this block a little bit, do see through? <gasps> There's enemies! Oh my god, they're inside! What? There's- Oh, 
There's guys with guns inside! They're shooting up the place! Ah! Ah! Ah, he's pushing me! I'm not that good at FPSs! Ah, run away! Gotta heal up, gotta heal up. Are they like, just trying to like scorched earth? They're trying to just destroy the place before I can get it? Oh, there he is. He's dead, okay. There's another one. Moving in. Take him out! Oh my god, they take so many bullets! He's dead. Okay. There, are, these are bot spawners, right? Yeah, I gotta get rid of these before they spawn anymore. Okay, that one's already damaged. Oh, but, oh, they were like trying to destroy the cargo so that we wouldn't be able to get any. The bastards! Oh, there's some silver in there. Oh, nice. They were trying to sabotage the place, so I couldn't get any loot. What did they have on them, too? Oh, they actually had some guns and ammo. And some various resources and stuff, too. <gasps> That's awesome. Okay. The turret up top. Light laser turret is incomplete. Okay, we knocked that one out. We have the anti-fighter turrets, the two of those. Let me go down. We gotta heal up before we go and push harder here. Okay, so before we take over the base, we need to take out these last two guns here. But we can do the same thing we did last time. We can cut them off at their base. And there we go. That turret is now destroyed. We can hack it real quick. And then we can replace that. Nope. Unable to place. Ooh, I bet that's not part of the same grid. Yeah, we'll just leave that there as a disconnected. That's fine. We will be salvaging these turrets and adding them to the pile. I can actually just reach the turret directly. Why not? Turret's been hacked. Uh, I think... That's it! Yeah! Base is mine! <laughs> awesome! Alright, I'm just make sure this turret's not shooting at me anymore. Which, it isn't. And I'm just going to take it down to incomplete. And it is not letting me place a block there, which... Eh, whatever. We're gonna turn this into a... We'll do the exact same thing we did for the last thing. We'll turn it into a ship, which will allow us to pull it away once we put a, uh, 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 a landing gear on something to be able to hold it. And then we'll stick it on the dropship. Along with another light laser turret. Which, one missile to the light laser turret did it in. That's very good information to have. It's gonna make um, taking out these base is a lot easier because I know I can throw a single missile at it and that one particular thing will be disabled. But what else do we have here for our ill-gotten gains? Our cargo. We have uh, two and a half thousand silver, which more silver coming in by the moment. We also have like 95 uranium. That's really good. That's really, really good. Okay, and we also have the few dead uh, bot bodies here, which we need to go and pick up stuff from. Excellent. Hey, we did it. We conquered another place. All right, let me deposit some stuff, which can I not can I deposit some more? I don't need this stuff on me anymore. We're not in combat. We have succeeded. I need to collect my ill-gotten gains. 
as these guys drop pretty good loot. Uh, wait, where's the other? Ah, here's one. And was there another one in here? Thought I killed another guy in here, but I think his backpack is just gone. That's okay. We got some more guns and ammo out of it. I'm glad I built weaponry. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, tunnel ourselves out of here. Spectre emerges victorious. And we have a place where we can dock up, which is amazing. Uh, although this is a little damaged. Motors, computers, and steel plates and things. Uh, steel plates are easy. That's right there. Computers and motors. Uh, I think I can get that out of these things. Eight computers, at least. Um, motors can come out of this thing. Computers and motors. Hey, we have some. Hey, it's fixed. And now, we don't have to worry about our power requirements. Because we can do this. We can plug our body into it. And we can slurp some power from this base. Luck. Recharge. As we pull from all the warfare batteries that are on this base. That are all fully charged. Yeah. Because they have that reactor going, right? We have all of our small reactors on the Spectre. But they have a large reactor on there putting out 15 megawatts. I can turn that off. I want to save that uranium. <laughs> I don't want to use that uranium. I want to save it. And I wonder, can I move it? Yes, I can move it over, but I can't get it out of the reactor. Okay. I got to go get that myself. It is not plugged in. Oh, wait, it is plugged in. It's just that the large cargo container is damaged. That's what's going on. That is why things are sad. And that static drill can just continue getting me silver. It's all good. Okay, okay, okay. Medium cargo container, but that there. And we have our reactors for the Spectre. Which I'm so tempted to just turn on and have that uranium automatically distribute. The Spectre deserves it, man. The Spectre deserves some uranium on it. We don't even need to charge up before we fly home. Like, we'll just fly home on uranium. It's awesome. <laughs> All right. Another mining outpost conquered. And if you saw those guys when we were fighting them, they looked like goddamn Cylons. <laughs> Are my fighting Cylons this season? Is that what's happening? I don't know. But they took a lot of bullets to take down. We managed to take over another one of their bases. We got ourselves three more laser weaponry. Which we're going to have to salvage and put onto our uh, dropship here shortly. And... Uh, we're going to do that in the next episode. Between this episode and the next one, I will fully charge. Um, probably fly back, which is like on the other side of the planet. Um, maybe we'll death warp because we do have the uh, survival kits. And uh, we'll pick it up, get the uh, dropship over here, and plug it in, do a little bit of repairs, get the... Uh, turrets off of there onto the dropship and grab as much silver as we want then we'll head back up to the uh, fragment parking spot head off to the next planet that's going to be in the future for now thanks for watching and good hunting out there fellow space engineers <laughs>